Paris French pronunciation, Pi Listen, is the capital and most populous city of France, with an area of 105 square kilometres 41 square miles and a population of 2,206,488. Since the 17th century, Paris has been one of Europe's major centres of finance, commerce, fashion, science, and the arts. The city of Paris is the centre and seat of government of the Ile de France, or Paris region, which has an estimated official 2018 population of 12,246,234 people, or 18.2% of the population of France. The Paris region had a GDP of €681 billion Euros $850 billion in 2016, accounting for 31% of the GDP of France. According to the Economist Intelligence Unit Worldwide Cost of Living Survey in 2018, Paris was the second most expensive city in the world, behind Singapore and ahead of Zurich, Hong Kong, Oslo and Geneva. The city is a major rail, highway, and air transport hub served by two international airports, Paris Charles de Gaulle the second busiest airport in Europe after London Heathrow Airport with 69.5 million passengers in 2017 and Paris Orly. Opened in 1900, the city's subway system, the Paris Metro, serves 5.23 million passengers daily, and is the second busiest metro system in Europe after Moscow Metro. Gare du Nord is the 24th busiest railway station in the world, with 262 million passengers in 2015. Paris is especially known for its museums and architectural landmarks. The Louvre was the most visited art museum in the world in 2017, with 8.1 million visitors. The Musée d'Orsay and Musée de l'Orangerie are noted for their collections of French Impressionist art, and the Pompidou Centre Musée National d'Art Moderne has the largest collection of modern and contemporary art in Europe. The historical district along the Seine in the city centre is classified as a UNESCO heritage site. Popular landmarks in the centre of the city include the Cathedral of Notre Dame de Paris and the Gothic Royal Chapel of Saint Chapelle, both on the Ile de la Cite. The Eiffel Tower, constructed for the Paris Universal Exposition of 1889, the Grand Palais and Petit Palais, built for the Paris Universal Exposition of 1900, the Arc de Triomphe on the Champs Elysees, and the Basilica of Sacre Cœur on the Hill of Montmartre. Paris received 23 million visitors in 2017, measured by hotel stays, with the largest numbers of foreign visitors coming from the United States, the UK, Germany and China. It was ranked as the third most visited travel destination in the world in 2017, after Bangkok and London, the football club Paris Saint-Germain and the rugby union club Stade Francais are based in Paris. The 80,000-seat Stade de France, built for the 1998 FIFA World Cup, is located just north of Paris in the neighboring commune of Saint Denis. Paris hosts the annual French Open Grand Slam tennis tournament on the red clay of Roland Garros. Paris hosted the Olympic Games in 1900, 1924, and will host the 2024 Summer Olympics. The 1938 and 1998 FIFA World Cups, the 2007 Rugby World Cup, and the 1960, 1984, and 2016 UEFA European Championships were also held in the city and, every July, the Tour de France bicycle race finishes there. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The name, Paris is derived from its early inhabitants, the Celtic Parisi tribe. The city's name is not related to the Paris of Greek mythology. Paris is often referred to as the City of Light La Ville Lumière, both because of its leading role during the Age of Enlightenment, and more literally because Paris was one of the first European cities to adopt gas street lighting. In the 1860s, the boulevards and streets of Paris were illuminated by 56,000 gas lamps. Since the late 19th century, Paris has also been known as Panam e pronounced Panam in French slang. Inhabitants are known in English as Parisians and in French as Parisians pays listen. They are also pejoratively called Parigos pio listen. Topic: History. Topic: Origins The Parisi, a sub-tribe of the Celtic Senones, inhabited the Paris area from around the middle of the 3rd century BC. 
One of the area's major north south trade routes crossed the Seine on the Ile de la Cite. This meeting place of land and water trade routes gradually became an important trading center. The Parisi traded with many river towns some as far away as the Iberian Peninsula and minted their own coins for that purpose. The Romans conquered the Paris Basin in 52 BC and began their settlement on Paris's left bank. The Roman town was originally called Lutetia more fully, Lutetia Parisiorum, Lutetia of the Parisi. It became a prosperous city with a forum, baths, temples, theatres, and an amphitheater. By the end of the Western Roman Empire, the town was known as Parisius, a Latin name that would later become Paris in French. Christianity was introduced in the middle of the 3rd century AD by Saint Denis, the first bishop of Paris. According to legend, when he refused to renounce his faith before the Roman occupiers, he was beheaded on the hill which became known as Mons Martyrum, Latin, Hill of Martyrs, later, Montmartre. From where he walked headless to the north of the city, the place where he fell and was buried became an important religious shrine, the Basilica of Saint Denis, and many French kings are buried there. Clovis the Frank, the first king of the Merovingian dynasty, made the city his capital from 508. As the Frankish domination of Gaul began, there was a gradual immigration by the Franks to Paris and the Parisian Francian dialects were born. Fortification of the Ile de la Cité failed to avert sacking by Vikings in 845, but Paris's strategic importance—with its bridges preventing ships from passing—was established by successful defense in the Siege of Paris 885 In 987, Hugh Capet, Count of Paris, Comte de Paris and Duke of the Franks, Duc de Franks was elected King of the Franks, Roy de Franks. Under the rule of the Capetian kings, Paris gradually became the largest and most prosperous city in France. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Middle Ages to Louis XIV. By the end of the 12th century, Paris had become the political, economic, religious, and cultural capital of France. The Palais de la Cité, the royal residence, was located at the western end of the Ile de la Cité. In 1163, during the reign of Louis VII, Maurice de Sully, Bishop of Paris, undertook the construction of the Notre Dame Cathedral at its eastern extremity. After the marshland between the River Seine and its slower dead arm to its north was filled in around the 10th century, Paris's cultural center began to move to the right bank. In 1137, a new city marketplace today's Les Halles replaced the two smaller ones on the Ile de la Cité and Place de la Grève Hotel de Ville. The latter location housed the headquarters of Paris's River Trade Corporation, an organization that later became, and officially although formally in later years, Paris's first municipal government. In the late 12th century, Philip Augustus extended the Louvre fortress to defend the city against river invasions from the west, gave the city its first walls between 1190 and 1215, rebuilt its bridges to either side of its central island, and paved its main thoroughfares. In 1190, he transformed Paris's former cathedral school into a student-teacher corporation that would become the University of Paris and would draw students from all of Europe. With 200,000 inhabitants in 1328, Paris, then already the capital of France, was the most populous city of Europe. By comparison, London in 1300 had 80,000 inhabitants. During the Hundred Years' War, Paris was occupied by England friendly Burgundian forces from 1418, before being occupied outright by the English when Henry V of England entered the French capital in 1420. In spite of a 1429 effort by Joan of Arc to liberate the city, it would remain under English occupation until 1436. In the late 16th century French Wars of Religion, Paris was a stronghold of the Catholic League, the organizers of the 24 August 1572 St. Bartholomew's Day Massacre in which thousands of French Protestants were killed. The conflicts ended when pretender to the throne Henry IV, after converting to Catholicism to gain entry to the capital, entered the city in 1594 and claimed the crown of France. This king made several improvements to the capital during his reign. He completed the construction of Paris's first uncovered, sidewalk lined bridge, the Pont Neuf, built a Louvre extension connecting it to the Tuileries Palace, and created the first Paris residential square, the Place Royale, now Place des Vosges. The king would end his life in the capital, assassinated in a narrow street near Les Halles Marketplace in 1610. During the 17th century, Cardinal Richelieu, chief minister of Louis XIII, was determined to make Paris the most beautiful city in Europe. 
He built five new bridges, a new chapel for the College of Sorbonne, and a palace for himself, the Palais Cardinal, which he bequeathed to Louis XIII. After Richelieu's death in 1642, it was the renamed the Palais Royal. Due to the Parisian uprisings during the Fronde Civil War, Louis XIV moved his court to a new palace, Versailles, in 1682. Although no longer the capital of France, arts and sciences in the city flourished with the Comédie Française, the Academy of Painting, and the French Academy of Sciences. To demonstrate that the city was safe from attack, the king had the city walls demolished and replaced with tree-lined boulevards that would become the Grand Boulevards of today. Other marks of his reign were the Collège des Quatre Nations, the Place Vendôme, the Place des Victoires, and Les Invalides. Topic: 18th and 19th centuries. Paris grew in population from about 400,000 in 1640 to 650,000 in 1780. A new boulevard, the Champs Elysees, extended the city west to Etoile, while the working class neighborhood of the Faubourg Saint Antoine on the eastern side of the city grew more and more crowded with poor migrant workers from other regions of France. Paris was the center of an explosion of philosophic and scientific activity known as the Age of Enlightenment. Diderot and D'Alembert published their Encyclopédie in 1751, and the Montgolfier brothers launched the first manned flight in a hot air balloon on 21 November 1783, from the gardens of the Château de la Mouette. Paris was the financial capital of continental Europe, the primary European centre of book publishing and fashion and the manufacture of fine furniture and luxury goods. In the summer of 1789, Paris became the centre stage of the French Revolution. On 14 July, a mob seized the arsenal at the Invalide, acquiring thousands of guns, and stormed the Bastille, a symbol of royal authority. The first independent Paris Commune, or City Council, met in the Hôtel de Ville and, on 15 July, elected a mayor, the astronomer Jean Sylvain Bailly. Louis XVI and the royal family were brought to Paris and made prisoners within the Tuileries Palace. In 1793, as the revolution turned more and more radical, the king, queen, and the mayor were guillotined, along with more than 16,000 others throughout France, during the Reign of Terror. The property of the aristocracy and the church was nationalized, and the city's churches were closed, sold or demolished. A succession of revolutionary factions ruled Paris until 9 November 1799 coup d'état du 18 when Napoleon Bonaparte seized power as first consul. The population of Paris had dropped by 100,000 during the Revolution, but between 1799 and 1815, it surged with 160,000 new residents, reaching 660,000. Napoleon Bonaparte replaced the elected government of Paris with a prefect reporting only to him. He began erecting monuments to military glory, including the Arc de Triomphe, and improved the neglected infrastructure of the city with new fountains, the Canal de l'Orque, Perlachaise Cemetery and the city's first metal bridge, the Pont des Arts. During the Restoration, the bridges and squares of Paris were returned to their pre-revolution names, but the July Revolution of 1830 in Paris, commemorated by the July Column on Place de la Bastille, brought a constitutional monarch, Louis-Philippe I, to power. The first railway line to Paris opened in 1837, beginning a new period of massive migration from the provinces to the city. Louis Philippe was overthrown by a popular uprising in the streets of Paris in 1848. His successor, Napoleon III, and the newly appointed prefect of the Seine, Georges Eugene Haussmann, launched a gigantic public works project to build wide new boulevards, a new opera house, a central market, new aqueducts, sewers, and parks, including the Bois de Boulogne and Bois de Vincennes. In 1860, Napoleon III also annexed the surrounding towns and created eight new arrondissements, expanding Paris to its current limits. During the Franco-Prussian War 1870 Paris was besieged by the Prussian army. After months of blockade, hunger, and then bombardment by the Prussians, the city was forced to surrender on 28 January 1871. On 28 March, a revolutionary government called the Paris Commune seized power in Paris. The Commune held power for two months, until it was harshly suppressed by the French army during the Bloody Week at the end of May 1871. 
Late in the 19th century, Paris hosted two major international expositions. The 1889 Universal Exposition was held to mark the centennial of the French Revolution and featured the new Eiffel Tower, and the 1900 Universal Exposition, which gave Paris the Pont Alexander III, the Grand Palais, the Petit Palais, and the first Paris Metro Line. Paris became the laboratory of naturalism Emile Zola and symbolism Charles Baudelaire and Paul Verlaine, and of impressionism in art Corbett, Manet, Monet, Renoir. Topic: 20th and 21st centuries. By 1901, the population of Paris had grown to 2,715,000. At the beginning of the century, artists from around the world including, Pablo Picasso, Modigliani, and Henri Matisse made Paris their home. It was the birthplace of Fauvism, Cubism and abstract art, and authors such as Marcel Proust were exploring new approaches to literature. During the First World War, Paris sometimes found itself on the front line. 600 to 1,000 Paris taxis played a small but highly important symbolic role in transporting 6,000 soldiers to the front line at the First Battle of the Marne. The city was also bombed by zeppelins and shelled by German long-range guns. In the years after the war, known as Les Années Fall, Paris continued to be a mecca for writers, musicians and artists from around the world, including Ernest Hemingway, Igor Stravinsky, James Joyce, Josephine Baker, Sidney Bechet and the surrealist Salvador Dali. In the years after the peace conference, the city was also home to growing numbers of students and activists from French colonies and other Asian and African countries, who later became leaders of their countries, such as Ho Chi Minh, Zhou Enlai and Leopold Setter Senghor. On 14 June 1940, the German army marched into Paris, which had been declared an «open city». On 16–17 July 1942, following German orders, the French police and gendarmes arrested 12,884 Jews, including 4,115 children, and confined them during five days at the Velle de Hive Velodrome de Hiver, from which they were transported by train to the extermination camp at Auschwitz. None of the children came back. On 25 August 1944, the city was liberated by the French 2nd Armored Division and the 4th Infantry Division of the United States Army. General Charles de Gaulle led a huge and emotional crowd down the Champs Elysees towards Notre Dame de Paris, and made a rousing speech from the Hotel de Ville. In the 1950s and the 1960s, Paris became one front of the Algerian War for Independence. In August 1961, the pro independence FLN targeted and killed 11 Paris policemen, leading to the imposition of a curfew on Muslims of Algeria, who, at that time, were French citizens. On 17 October 1961, an unauthorized but peaceful protest demonstration of Algerians against the curfew led to violent confrontations between the police and demonstrators, in which at least 40 people were killed, including some thrown into the Seine. The anti-independence organization Armée Secrète OAS, for their part, carried out a series of bombings in Paris throughout 1961 and 1962. In May 1968, protesting students occupied the Sorbonne and put up barricades in the Latin Quarter. Thousands of Parisian blue-collar workers joined the students, and the movement grew into a two-week general strike. Supporters of the government won the June elections by a large majority. The May 1968 events in France resulted in the breakup of the University of Paris into 13 independent campuses. In 1975, the National Assembly changed the status of Paris to that of other French cities and, on 25 March 1977, Jacques Chirac became the first elected mayor of Paris since 1793. The Tour Main Montparnasse, the tallest building in the city at 57 stories and 210 meters (689 feet) high, was built between 1969 and 1973. It was highly controversial, and it remains the only building in the center of the city over 32 stories high. The population of Paris dropped from 2,850,000 in 1954 to 2,152,000 in 1990 as middle-class families moved to the suburbs. A suburban railway network, the RER Réseau Express Régional, was built to complement the Métro, and the Périphérique Expressway encircling the city, was completed in 1973. 
Most of the post-war's presidents of the Fifth Republic wanted to leave their own monuments in Paris. President Georges Pompidou started the Centre Georges Pompidou 1977. Valéry Giscard d'Estaing began the Musée d'Orsay 1986. President François Mitterrand, in power for 14 years, built the Opéra Bastille 1985 to 1989. The new site of the Bibliothèque Nationale de France 1996. The Arche de la Défense 1985 to 1989, and the Louvre Pyramid with its its underground courtyard 1983 to 1989 Jacques Chirac 2006 the Musée du Quai Branly in the early 21st century the population of Paris began to increase slowly again as more young people moved into the city it reached 2.25 million in 2011 in March 2001 Bertrand Delannoy became the first socialist mayor of Paris in 2007, in an effort to reduce car traffic in the city, he introduced the Velib, a system which rents bicycles for the use of local residents and visitors. Bertrand Delanoy also transformed a section of the highway along the left bank of the Seine into an urban promenade and park, the Promenade des Burges de la Seine, which he inaugurated in June 2013. In 2007, President Nicolas Sarkozy launched the Grand Paris Project, to integrate Paris more closely with the towns in the region around it. After many modifications, the new area, named the Metropolis of Grand Paris, with a population of 6.7 million, was created on 1 January 2016. In 2011, the City of Paris and the national government approved the plans for the Grand Paris Express, totaling 205 kilometers (127 miles) of automated metro lines to connect Paris, the innermost three departments around Paris, airports and high-speed rail (TGV) stations, at an estimated cost of 35 billion euros. The system is scheduled to be completed by 2030. On the 5th of April 2014, Anne Hidalgo, a socialist, was elected the first female mayor of Paris. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Terrorist attacks. On 7 January 2015, two French Muslim extremists attacked the Paris headquarters of Charlie Hebdo and killed 13 people, in an attack claimed by Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, and on 9 January, a third terrorist, who claimed he was part of ISIL, killed four hostages during an attack at a Jewish grocery store at Port de Vincennes. On the 11th of January an estimated 1.5 million people marched in Paris in a show of solidarity against terrorism and in support of freedom of speech. On 13 November of the same year, a series of coordinated bomb and gunfire terrorist attacks in Paris and Saint-Denis, claimed by ISIL, killed 130 people and injured more than 350. On 3 February 2017, a two-backpack carrying, machete-wielding attacker shouting, Allahu Akbar! attacked soldiers guarding the Louvre Museum after they stopped him because of his bags, the assailant was shot, and no explosives were found. On 18 March of the same year, in a vitry sur seine bar, a man held patrons hostage, then fled to later hold a gun to the head of an Orly Airport French soldier, shouting, I am here to die in the name of Allah, and was shot dead by the soldier's comrades. On 20 April, a man shot dead French police officer on the Champs Elysees, and was later shot dead himself. On 19 June, a man rammed his weapons and explosives laden vehicle into a police van on the Champs Elysees, but the car only burst into flames. Geography <laughs> 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 Paris is located in northern central France, in a north-bending arc of the River Seine whose crest includes two islands, the Île Saint-Louis and the larger Île de la Cité, which form the oldest part of the city. The river's mouth on the English Channel La Manche is about 233 miles 375 kilometers downstream from the city. The city is spread widely on both banks of the river. Overall, the city is relatively flat, and the lowest point is 35 meters (115 feet) above sea level. Paris has several prominent hills, the highest of which is Montmartre at 130 meters (427 feet), excluding the outlying parks of Bois de Boulogne and Bois de Vincennes. Paris covers an oval measuring about 87 square kilometers (34 square miles) in area, enclosed by the 35 kilometers (22 miles) ring road, the Boulevard Périphérique. The city's last major annexation of outlying territories in 1860 not only gave it its modern form but also created the 20 clockwise spiraling arrondissements municipal boroughs. 
From the 1860 area of 78 square kilometers (30 square miles), the city limits were expanded marginally to 86.9 square kilometers (33.6 square miles) in the 1920s. In 1929, the Bois de Boulogne and Bois de Vincennes forest parks were officially annexed to the city, bringing its area to about 105 square kilometers (41 square miles). The metropolitan area of the city is 2300 square kilometers, 890 square miles, measured from the point zero in front of its Notre Dame Cathedral. Paris by road is 450 kilometers, 280 miles southeast of London, 287 kilometers, 178 miles south of Calais, 305 kilometers, 190 miles southwest of Brussels, 774 kilometers, 481 miles north of Marseille, 385 5 kilometers 239 miles northeast of Nantes and 135 kilometers 84 miles southeast of Rouen topic <inaudible> climate Paris has a typical western european oceanic climate Köppen climate classification Cfb which is affected by the north atlantic current the overall climate throughout the year is mild and moderately wet Summer days are usually warm and pleasant with average temperatures between 15 and 25 degrees Celsius 59 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit, and a fair amount of sunshine. Each year, however, there are a few days when the temperature rises above 32 degrees Celsius 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Longer periods of more intense heat sometimes occur, such as the heat wave of 2003 when temperatures exceeded 30 degrees Celsius 86 degrees Fahrenheit for weeks, reached 40 degrees Celsius 104 degrees Fahrenheit on some days and seldom cooled down at night. Spring and autumn have, on average, mild days and fresh nights but are changing and unstable. Surprisingly warm or cool weather occurs frequently in both seasons. In winter, sunshine is scarce, days are cool, nights cold but generally above freezing with low temperatures around 3 degrees Celsius 37 degrees Fahrenheit. Light night frosts are however quite common, but the temperature will dip below minus 5 degrees Celsius 23 degrees Fahrenheit for only a few days a year. Snow falls every year, but rarely stays on the ground. The city sometimes sees light snow or flurries with or without accumulation. Paris has an average annual precipitation of 641 mm (25.2 in) and experiences light rainfall distributed evenly throughout the year. However, the city is known for intermittent abrupt heavy showers. The highest recorded temperature is 40.4 degrees Celsius (104.7 degrees Fahrenheit) on the 28th of July 1947, and the lowest is minus 23.9 degrees Celsius (-11.0 degrees Fahrenheit) on the 10th of December 1879. Topic: <inaudible> Administration. <inaudible> <inaudible> City government For almost all of its long history, except for a few brief periods, Paris was governed directly by representatives of the king, emperor, or president of France. The city was not granted municipal autonomy by the National Assembly until 1974. The first modern elected mayor of Paris was Jacques Chirac, elected 20 March 1977, becoming the city's first mayor since 1793. The current mayor is Anne Hidalgo, a socialist, elected 5 April 2014. The mayor of Paris is elected indirectly by Paris voters. The voters of each arrondissement elect the Conseil de Paris, Council of Paris, composed of 163 members. Each arrondissement has a number of members depending upon its population, from 10 members for each of the least populated arrondissements, 1st through 9th, to 36 members for the most populated, the 15th. The elected council members select the mayor. Sometimes the candidate who receives the most votes citywide is not selected if the other candidate has won the support of the majority of council members. Mayor Bertrand Delanoy was elected by only a minority of city voters, but a majority of council members. Once elected, the council plays a largely passive role in the city government, primarily because it meets only once a month. 
The current council is divided between a coalition of the left of 91 members, including the Socialists, Communists, Greens, and Extreme Left, and 71 members for the centre-right, plus a few members from smaller parties. Each of Paris's 20 arrondissements has its own town hall and a directly elected council which, in turn, elects an arrondissement mayor. The council of each arrondissement is composed of members of the Conseil de Paris and also members who serve only on the council of the arrondissement. The number of deputy mayors in each arrondissement varies depending upon its population. There are a total of 20 arrondissement mayors and 120 deputy mayors. The budget of the city for 2018 is 9.5 billion euros, with an expected deficit of 5.5 billion euros. 7.9 billion euros are designated for city administration, and 1.7 billion euros for investment. The number of city employees increased from 40,000 in 2001 to 55,000 in 2018. The largest part of the investment budget is earmarked for public housing 262 million euros and for real estate 142 million euros. Topic: <laughs> Métropole du Grand Paris. The Métropole du Grand Paris or simply Grand Paris formally came into existence on the 1st of January 2016. It is an administrative structure for cooperation between the city of Paris and its nearest suburbs. It includes the city of Paris, plus the communes of the three departments of the inner suburbs Hautes de Seine, Seine Saint Denis, and Val de Marne, plus seven communes in the outer suburbs, including Argentoy in Val d'Oise and Paris Vielle Post in Essonne, which were added to include the major airports of Paris. The metropole covers 814 square kilometers, 314 square miles, and has a population of 6.945 million persons. The new structure is administered by a metropolitan council of 210 members, not directly elected, but chosen by the councils of the member communes. By 2020, its basic competencies will include urban planning, housing and protection of the environment. The first president of the Metropolitan Council, Patrick Ollier, a Republican and the mayor of the town of Ruel Malmaison, was elected on the 22nd of January 2016. Though the metropole has a population of nearly 7 million persons and accounts for 25% of the GDP of France, it has a very small budget, just 65 million euros, compared with 8 billion euros for the city of Paris. Topic. Regional government The region of Ile de France, including Paris and its surrounding communities, is governed by the Regional Council, which has its headquarters in the 7th arrondissement of Paris. It is composed of 209 members representing the different communes within the region. On 15 December 2015, a list of candidates of the Union of the Right, a coalition of centrist and right-wing parties, led by Valérie Pécresse, narrowly won the regional election, defeating a coalition of socialists and ecologists. The socialists had governed the region for 17 years. The regional council has 121 members from the Union of the Right, 66 from the Union of the Left and 22 from the Extreme Right National Front. National government As the capital of France, Paris is the seat of France's national government. For the executive, the two chief officers each have their own official residences, which also serve as their offices. The President of the French Republic resides at the Élysée Palace in the 8th arrondissement, while the Prime Minister's seat is at the Hôtel Matignon in the 7th arrondissement. Government ministries are located in various parts of the city, many are located in the 7th arrondissement, near the Matignon, the two houses of the French Parliament are located on the left bank. The upper house, the Senate, meets in the Palais du Luxembourg in the 6th arrondissement, while the more important lower house, the Assemblée Nationale, meets in the Palais Bourbon in the 7th arrondissement. The President of the Senate, the second highest public official in France the President of the Republic being the sole superior, resides in the Petit Luxembourg", a smaller palace annexed to the Palais du Luxembourg. France's highest courts are located in Paris. 
The Court of Cassation, the highest court in the judicial order, which reviews criminal and civil cases, is located in the Palais de Justice on the Ile de la Cité, while the Conseil d'État, which provides legal advice to the executive and acts as the highest court in the administrative order, judging litigation against public bodies, is located in the Palais Royal in the first arrondissement. The Constitutional Council, an advisory body with ultimate authority on the constitutionality of laws and government decrees, also meets in the Montpensier wing of the Palais Royal. Paris and its region host the headquarters of several international organizations, including UNESCO, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, the International Chamber of Commerce, the Paris Club, the European Space Agency, the International Energy Agency, the Organisation Internationale de la Francophonie, the European Union Institute for Security Studies, the International Bureau of Weights and Measures, the International Exhibition Bureau, and the International Federation for Human Rights. Following the motto, Only Paris is worthy of Rome, only Rome is worthy of Paris. The only sister city of Paris is Rome, although Paris has partnership agreements with many other cities around the world. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Police Force. The security of Paris is mainly the responsibility of the Prefecture of Police of Paris, a subdivision of the Ministry of the Interior of France. It supervises the units of the National Police who patrol the city and the three neighboring departments. It is also responsible for providing emergency services, including the Paris Fire Brigade. Its headquarters is on Place Louis Lepine on the Ile de la Cité. There are 30,200 officers under the prefecture, and a fleet of more than 6,000 vehicles, including police cars, motorcycles, fire trucks, boats, and helicopters. In addition to traditional police duties, the local police monitors the number of discount sales held by large stores no more than two a year are allowed and verify that during summer holidays, at least one bakery is open in every neighborhood. The National Police has its own special unit for riot control and crowd control and security of public buildings, called the Compagnies Républicaines de Sécurité CRS, a unit formed in 1944 right after the liberation of France. Vans of CRS agents are frequently seen in the center of the city when there are demonstrations and public events. The police are supported by the National Gendarmerie, a branch of the French Armed Forces, though their police operations now are supervised by the Ministry of the Interior. The traditional kepis of the gendarmes were replaced in 2002 with caps, and the force modernized, though they still wear kepis for ceremonial occasions. Crime in Paris is similar to that in most large cities. Violent crime is relatively rare in the city centre. Political violence is uncommon, though very large demonstrations may occur in Paris and other French cities simultaneously. These demonstrations, usually managed by a strong police presence, can turn confrontational and escalate into violence. <laughs> Cityscape Urbanism and architecture Most French rulers since the Middle Ages made a point of leaving their mark on a city that, contrary to many other of the world's capitals, has never been destroyed by catastrophe or war. In modernizing its infrastructure through the centuries, Paris has preserved even its earliest history in its street map. At its origin, before the Middle Ages, the city was composed around several islands and sandbanks in a bend of the Seine. Of those, two remain today, the Île Saint-Louis and the Île de la Cité. A third one is the 1827 artificially created Île aux Signes. Modern Paris owes much of its downtown plan and architectural harmony to Napoleon III and his prefect of the Seine, Baron Haussmann. Between 1853 and 1870, they rebuilt the city centre, created the wide downtown boulevards and squares where the boulevards intersected, imposed standard facades along the boulevards, and required that the facades be built of the distinctive cream grey, Paris stone. They also built the major parks around the city centre. The high residential population of its city centre also makes it much different from most other western major cities. Paris's urbanism laws have been under strict control since the early 17th century, particularly where street front alignment, building height, and building distribution is concerned. 
In recent developments, a 1974 to 2010 building height limitation of 37 meters (121 feet) was raised to 50 meters (160 feet) in central areas and 180 meters (590 feet) in some of Paris's peripheral quarters. Yet, for some of the city's more central quarters, even older building height laws still remain in effect. The 210 meters (690 feet) Montparnasse Tower was both Paris and France's tallest building until 1973, but this record has been held by the La Défense Quarter Tour First Tower in Courbevoie since its 2011 construction. Parisian examples of European architecture date back more than a millennium, including the Romanesque Church of the Abbey of Saint Germain des Prés (1014–1163), the early Gothic architecture of the Basilica of Saint Denis (1144), the Notre Dame Cathedral (1163–1345), the flamboyant Gothic of Saint Chapelle (1239–1248), the Baroque churches of Saint Paul Saint Louis (1627–1641), and Les Invalides (16). 1870–1708. The 19th century produced the neoclassical Church of La Madeleine (1808–1842), the Palais Garnier Opera House (1875), the neo-Byzantine Basilica of Sacré-Cœur (1875–1919), and the exuberant Belle Époque modernism of the Eiffel Tower (1889). Striking examples of 20th-century architecture include the Center Georges Pompidou by Richard Rogers and Renzo Piano 1977, and the Louvre Pyramid by I. M. Pei Contemporary architecture includes the Musée du Quad Branly by Jean Nouvel 2006, the Contemporary Art Museum of the Louis Vuitton Foundation by Frank Gehry 2014, and the New Tribunal de Justice by Renzo Piano 2018. Housing The most expensive residential streets in Paris in 2018 by average price per square meter were Avenue Montaigne 8th at €22,372 per square meter, Place Dauphine 1st arrondissement 20,373 euros, and Rue de Furstenberg 6th arrondissement at €18,839 per square meter. The total number of residences in the city of Paris in 2011 was 1,356,074, up from a former high of 1,334,815 in 2006. Among these, 1,165,541 85.9% were built between 1965 and 1974, and only 18% of the buildings remaining were built built after that date, two-thirds of the city's 1.3 million residences are studio and two-room apartments. Paris averages 1.9 people per residence, a number that has remained constant since the 1980s, but it is much less than Ile-de-France's 2.33 person per residence average. Only 33% of principal residents Parisians own their habitation against 47% for the entire Ile de France. The major part of the city's population is a rent paying one. Social or public housing represented 19.9% .9 of the city's total residences in 2017. Its distribution varies widely throughout the city, from 2.6% of the housing in the wealthy 7th arrondissement, to 24% in the 20th arrondissement, 26% in the 14th arrondissement, and 39.9% in the 19th arrondissement. On the poorer southwest and northern edges of the city, on the night of February 15-16, 2018, during a spell of cold weather, the city of Paris conducted a citywide count of homeless persons, carried out by 2,000 volunteers. They found 2,952 persons sleeping on the streets, and another 672 in temporary shelters, for a total of 3,600. <laughs> Paris and its suburbs Aside from the 20th-century edition of the Bois de Boulogne, Bois de Vincennes and Paris Heliport, Paris's administrative limits have remained unchanged since 1860. The Seine département had been governing Paris and its suburbs since its creation in 1790, but the rising suburban population had made it difficult to govern as a unique entity. This problem was resolved when its parent, 
District de la région parisienne district of the Paris region was reorganized into several new departments from 1968 Paris became a department in itself and the administration of its suburbs was divided between the three new departments surrounding it the district of the Paris region was renamed Ile de France in 1977 but this abbreviated Paris region name is still commonly used today to describe the Ile de France and as a vague reference to the entire Paris agglomeration Long intended measures to unite Paris with its suburbs began on 1 January 2016, when the Metropole du Grand Paris came into existence. Paris's disconnect with its suburbs, its lack of suburban transportation, in particular, became all too apparent with the Paris agglomeration's growth. Paul de Louvrier promised to resolve the Paris suburbs mesentente when he became head of the Paris region in 1961. Two of his most ambitious projects for the region were the construction of five suburban Villes Nouvelles, New Cities, and the RER commuter train network. Many other suburban residential districts grand ensembles were built between the 1960s and 1970s to provide a low cost solution for a rapidly expanding population. These districts were socially mixed at first, but few residents actually owned their homes. The growing economy made these accessible to the middle classes only from the 1970s. Their poor construction quality and their haphazard insertion into existing urban growth contributed to their desertion by those able to move elsewhere and their repopulation by those with more limited possibilities. These areas, courtiers sensibles, sensitive quarters, are in northern and eastern Paris, namely around its Goutte d'Or and Belleville neighborhoods. To the north of the city, they are grouped mainly in the Seine Saint Denis department, and to a lesser extreme to the east in the Val d'Oise department. Other difficult areas are located in the Seine Valley, in Avery et Corbet Essens, Essen, in Muro, Mance la Jolie, and scattered among social housing districts created by Delouvrier's 1961 Ville Nouvelle political initiative. The Paris agglomeration's urban sociology is basically that of 19th century Paris. Its fortune classes are situated in its west and southwest, and its middle to lower classes are in its north and east. The remaining areas are mostly middle-class citizenry dotted with islands of fortuned populations located there due to reasons of historical importance, namely saint maur des fosses to the east and enguien les bains to the north of Paris. <laughs> Demographics The official population of the city of Paris was 2,206,488 as of January 1, 2018, according to INSEE, the official French statistical agency. This is a decline of 37,345 1, 66%, from 2014. This drop was attributed partly to a lower birth rate, and partly to the possible loss of housing in the city due to short term rentals for tourism. Paris is the core of a built up area that extends well beyond its limits, commonly referred to as the agglomération parisienne, and statistically as a unité urbaine, a measure of urban area. The Paris agglomeration's 2013 population of 10,601,122 made it the largest urban area in the European Union. City-influenced commuter activity reaches well beyond even this in a statistical air urbaine de Paris a measure of metropolitan area, that had a 2013 population of 12,405,426, a number one-fifth the population of France, the largest metropolitan area in the Eurozone. Paris is the fifth largest municipality in the European Union, following London, Berlin, Madrid and Rome. Eurostat, the statistical agency of the EU, places Paris 6.5 million people second behind London 8 million and ahead of Berlin 3.5 million, based on the 2012 populations of what Eurostat calls urban audit core cities. The Paris urban area, or unité urbaine, is a statistical area created by the French statistical agency INSEE to measure the population of built-up areas around the city. It is slightly smaller than the Paris region. According to INSEE, the Paris urban area had a population of 10,550,350 at the January 2012 census, the most populous in the European Union, and third most populous in Europe, behind Istanbul and Moscow. The Paris metropolitan area is the second most populous in the European Union after London with a population of 12,341,418 at the January 2012 census. 
The population of Paris today is lower than its historical peak of 2.9 million in 1921. The principal reasons were a significant decline in household size, and a dramatic migration of residents to the suburbs between 1962 and 1975. Factors in the migration included deindustrialization, high rent, the gentrification of many inner quarters, the transformation of living space into offices, and greater affluence among working families. The city's population loss came to an end in the 21st century. The population estimate of July 2004 showed a population increase for the first time since 1954, and the population reached 2,234,000 by 2009, before declining again slightly in 2017. However, declined once again in 2018. According to Eurostat, the EU statistical agency, in 2012 the Commune of Paris was the most densely populated city in the European Union, with 21,616 people per square kilometre within the city limits the Nuts 3 statistical area, ahead of Inner London West, which had 10,374 people per square kilometre. According to the same census, three departments bordering Paris, Hautes de Seine, Seine Saint Denis, and Val de Marne, had population densities of over 10,000 people per square kilometre, ranking among the ten most densely populated areas of the EU. <laughs> Migration According to the 2012 French census, 586,163 residents of the city of Paris, or 26.2%, and 2,782,834 residents of the Paris region Ile de France, or 23.4%, were born outside of metropolitan France the last figure up from 22.4% at the 2007 census, 26,700 of these in the city of Paris and 210,150 in the Paris region were people born in overseas France more than two-thirds of whom in the French West Indies and are therefore not counted as immigrants since they were legally French citizens at birth, a further 103,648 in the city of Paris and in 412,114 in the Paris region were born in foreign countries with French citizenship at birth. This concerns in particular the many Christians and Jews from North Africa who moved to France and Paris after the times of independence and are not counted as immigrants due to their being born French citizens. The remaining group, people born in foreign countries with no French citizenship at birth, are those defined as immigrants under French law. According to the 2012 census, 135,853 residents of the city of Paris were immigrants from Europe, 112,369 were immigrants from the Maghreb, 70,852 from Sub-Saharan Africa and Egypt, 5,059 from Turkey, 91,297 from Asia outside Turkey, 38,858 from the Americas, and 1,365 from the South Pacific. Note that the immigrants from the Americas and the South Pacific in Paris are vastly outnumbered by migrants from French overseas regions and territories located in these regions of the world. In the Paris region, 590,504 residents were immigrants from Europe, 627,078 were immigrants from the Maghreb, 435,339 from Sub Saharan Africa and Egypt, 69,338 from Turkey, 322,330. 30 from Asia outside Turkey, 113,363 from the Americas, and 2,261 from the South Pacific. These last two groups of immigrants are again vastly outnumbered by migrants from French overseas regions and territories located in the Americas and the South Pacific. In 2012, there were 8,810 British citizens and 10,019 U.S. citizens living in the city of Paris, Ville de Paris, and 20,466 British citizens and 16,408 U.S. citizens living in the entire Paris region, Ile de France. Religion French census data does not contain information about religious affiliation. According to a 2011 survey by IFOP, a French public opinion research organization, 61% of residents of the Paris region Ile de France identified themselves as Roman Catholic, though just 15% said they were practicing Catholics, while 46% were non-practicing. 
In the same survey, 7% of residents identified themselves as Muslims, 4% as Protestants, 2% as Jewish, and 25% as without religion. According to INSEE, the French government statistical office, between 4 and 5 million French residents were born or had at least one parent born in a predominantly Muslim country, particularly Algeria, Morocco, and Tunisia. An IFOP survey in 2008 reported that, of immigrants from these predominantly Muslim countries, 25% went to the mosque regularly, 41% practiced the religion, and 34% were believers but did not practice the religion. In 2012 and 2013, it was estimated that there were almost 500,000 Muslims in the city of Paris, 1.5 million Muslims in the Ile de France region, and 4 to 5 million Muslims in France. The Jewish population of the Paris region was estimated in 2014 to be 282,000, the largest concentration of Jews in the world outside of Israel and the United States. Topic Economy The economy of the city of Paris is based largely on services and commerce. Of the 390,480 enterprises in the city, 80.6% are engaged in commerce, transportation, and diverse services, 6.5% in construction, and just 3.8% in industry. The story is similar in the Paris region 76.7% of enterprises are engaged in commerce and services, and 3.4% in industry. At the 2012 census, 59.5% of jobs in the Paris region were in market services 12.0% in wholesale and retail trade, 9.7% in professional, scientific, and technical services, 6.5% in information and communication, 6.5% in transportation and warehousing, 5.9% in finance and insurance, 5.8% in administrative and support services, 4.6% in accommodation and food services, and 8.5% in various other market services, 26.9% in non-market services, 10.4% in human health and social work activities, 9.6% in public administration and defense, and 6.9% in education, 8.2% in manufacturing and utilities, 6. 6% in manufacturing and 1.5% in utilities, 5.2% in construction, and 0.2% in agriculture. The Paris region had 5.4 million salaried employees in 2010, of whom 2.2 million were concentrated in 39 poles d'emploi or business districts. The largest of these, in terms of number of employees, is known in French as the QCA, or Courtier Central des Affaires. It is in the western part of the city of Paris, in the 2nd, 8th, 9th, 16th, and 18th arrondissements. In 2010, it was the workplace of 500,000 salaried employees, about 30% of the salaried employees in Paris and 10% of those in the Ile de France. The largest sectors of activity in the central business district were finance and insurance 16% of employees in the district and business services 15%. The district also includes a large concentration of department stores, shopping areas, hotels and restaurants, as well as government offices and ministries. The second largest business district in terms of employment is La Défense, just west of the city, where many companies installed their offices in the 1990s. In 2010, it was the workplace of 144,600 employees, of whom 38% worked in finance and insurance, 16% in business support services. Two other important districts, Newly sur seine and lavalois perret are extensions of the Paris Business District and of La Défense. Another district, including boulogne billancourt issy les moulineaux and the southern part of the 15th arrondissement, is a center of activity for the media and information technology. The top 10 French companies listed in the Fortune Global 500 for 2018 all have their headquarters in the Paris region, six in the central business district of the city of Paris, and four close to the city in the Hautes de Seine department, three in La Défense, and one in boulogne billancourt some companies, like Société Générale, have offices in both Paris and La Défense. The Paris region is France's leading region for economic activity, with a GDP of €681 billion Euros $850 billion and €56,000 per capita. In 2011, its GDP ranked second among the regions of Europe and its per capita GDP was the fourth highest in Europe. 
While the Paris region's population accounted for 18.8% of metropolitan France in 2011, the Paris region's GDP accounted for 30% of metropolitan France's GDP. The Paris region economy has gradually shifted from industry to high value added service industries, finance, IT services, and high tech manufacturing, electronics, optics, aerospace, etc. The Paris region's most intense economic activity through the central Hauts-de-Seine department and suburban La Défense business district places Paris's economic centre to the west of the city, in a triangle between the Opéra Garnier, La Défense and the Val de Seine. While the Paris economy is dominated by services, and employment in manufacturing sector has declined sharply, the region remains an important manufacturing centre, particularly for aeronautics, automobiles, and eco. Industries, in the 2017 Worldwide Cost of Living Survey by the Economist Intelligence Unit, based on a survey made in September 2016, Paris ranked as the seventh most expensive city in the world, and the second most expensive in Europe, after Zurich. Employment <inaudible> 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 According to 2012 INSEE figures, 68% of employees in the city of Paris work in commerce, transportation, and services, 24.4% in public administration, health and social services, 4.4% in industry, and 0.1% in agriculture. The majority of Paris's salaried employees fill 370,000 businesses' services jobs, concentrated in the northwestern 8th, 16th, and 17th arrondissements. Paris's financial service companies are concentrated in the central western 8th and 9th arrondissement banking and insurance district. Paris's department store district in the 1st, 6th, 8th and 9th arrondissements employ 10% of mostly female Paris workers, with 100,000 of these registered in the retail trade. 14% of Parisians work in hotels and restaurants and other services to individuals. 19% of Paris employees work for the state in either in administration or education. The majority of Paris's health care and social workers work at the hospitals and social housing concentrated in the peripheral 13th, 14th, 18th, 19th and 20th arrondissements. Outside Paris, the Western Hautes de Seine Department La Défense District specializing in finance, insurance and scientific research district, employs 144,600, and the northeastern Seine Saint Denis audiovisual sector has 200 media firms and 10 major film studios. Paris's manufacturing is mostly focused in its suburbs, and the city itself has only around 75,000 manufacturing workers, most of which are in the textile, clothing, leather goods, and shoe trades. Paris region manufacturing specializes in transportation, mainly automobiles, aircraft, and trains, but this is in a sharp decline. Paris proper manufacturing jobs dropped by 64% between 1990 and 2010, and the Paris region lost 48% during the same period. Most of this is due to companies relocating outside the Paris region. The Paris region's 800 aerospace companies employed 100,000. 400 automobile industry companies employ another 100,000 workers, many of these are centered in the Evelines department around the Renault and PSA Citroën plants this department alone employs 33,000, but the industry as a whole suffered a major loss with the 2014 closing of a major Alnay Sous Bois Citroën assembly plant, the southern Essun department specializes in science and technology, and the southeastern Val de Marne, with its wholesale Rungus food market, specializes in food processing and beverages. The Paris region's manufacturing decline is quickly being replaced by eco industries, these employ about 100,000 workers. In 2011, while only 56,927 construction workers worked in Paris itself, its metropolitan area employed 246,639. In an activity centered largely around the Seine Saint Denis, 41,378, and Hautes de Seine, 37,303 departments, and the new business park centers appearing there. Topic. Unemployment In the first trimester of 2018, the unemployment rate in the city of Paris was 7.1%. The provisional unemployment rate in the whole Paris region was higher, 8.0%, and considerably higher in some suburbs, notably the department of Seine-Saint-Denis to the east and the Val d'Oise to the north
Topic: <laughs> Incomes. The average net household income after social, pension and health insurance contributions in Paris was 36,085 euros for 2011. It ranged from €22,095 in the 19th arrondissement to €82,449 in the 7th arrondissement. The median taxable income for 2011 was around €25,000 in Paris and €22,200 for Ile-de-France. Generally speaking, incomes are higher in the western part of the city and in the western suburbs than in the northern and eastern parts of the urban area. Unemployment was estimated at 8.2% in the city of Paris and 8.8% in the Ile-de-France region in the first trimester of 2015. It ranged from 7.6% in the wealthy Essonne department to 13.1% in the same Saint-Denis department, where many recent immigrants live. While Paris has some of the richest neighborhoods in France, it also has some of the poorest, mostly on the eastern side of the city. In 2012, 14% of households in the city earned less than €977 Euros per month, the official poverty line. 25% of residents in the 19th arrondissement lived below the poverty line, 24% in the 18th, 22% in the 20th and 18% in the 10th. In the city's wealthiest neighborhood, the 7th arrondissement, 7% lived below the poverty line, 8% in the 6th arrondissement, and 9% in the 16th arrondissement. Topic. Tourism Greater Paris, comprising Paris and its three surrounding departments, received 23.6 million visitors in 2017, measured by hotel arrivals. These included 12 million foreign visitors and 11.5 million French visitors. Of foreign visitors, the greatest number came from the United States 2 million, Great Britain 1.1 million, Germany 802.6 thousand and China 774.4 In 2016, measured by the MasterCard Global Cities Destination Index, Paris was the third busiest airline destination in the world, with 18.03 million visitors, behind Bangkok 21.47 million and London 19.88 million. According to the Paris Convention and Visitors Bureau, 393,008 workers in Greater Paris, or 12.4% of the total workforce, are engaged in tourism-related sectors such as hotels, catering, transport, and leisure. Monuments and attractions The city's top tourist attraction was the Notre Dame Cathedral, which welcomed an estimated 12 million visitors in 2017. Second was the Basilique du Sacré-Cœur on Montmartre, with an estimated 11 million visitors. This was followed by the Louvre Museum 8.02 million visitors, the Eiffel Tower 6.2 million, Centre Pompidou 3.3 million visitors, Musée d'Orsay 3.2 million, the City of Science and Industry 2.4 million visitors, the Chapel of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal 2 million visitors, the Museum of Natural History 1.7 million visitors, and the Arc de Triomphe 1.3 million visitors. The center of Paris contains the most visited monuments in the city, including the Notre Dame Cathedral and the Louvre as well as the Saint-Chapelle, Les Invalides, where the tomb of Napoleon is located, and the Eiffel Tower are located on the left bank southwest of the center. The Pantheon and the Catacombs of Paris are also located on the left bank of the Seine. The banks of the Seine from the Pont de Sully to the Pont d'Iéna have been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1991. Other landmarks are laid out east to west along the historical axis of Paris, which runs from the Louvre through the Tuileries Garden, the Luxor Column in the Place de la Concorde, and the Arc de Triomphe, to the Grande Arche of La Défense. Several other much-visited landmarks are located in the suburbs of the city. The Basilica of Saint-Denis, in Seine-Saint-Denis, is the birthplace of the Gothic style of architecture and the royal necropolis of French kings and queens. The Paris region hosts three other UNESCO heritage sites, the Palace of Versailles in the west, the Palace of Fontainebleau in the south, and the medieval fairs site of Provence in the east. In the Paris region, Disneyland Paris, in Marne-la-Vallée, 32 kilometers 20 miles east of the center of Paris, received 9.66 million visitors in 2017. Topic: Hotels. 
In 2017 Greater Paris had 2,020 hotels, including 85 five-star hotels, with a total of 119,000 rooms. Paris has long been famous for its grand hotels. The Hotel Maurice, opened for British travellers in 1817, was one of the first luxury hotels in Paris. The arrival of the railways and the Paris Exposition of 1855 brought the first flood of tourists and the first modern grand hotels, the Hotel du Louvre now an antiques marketplace in 1855, the Grand Hotel now the Intercontinental Paris Le Grand Hotel in 1862, and the Hotel Continental in 1878. The Hotel Ritz on Place Vendôme opened in 1898, followed by the Hotel Crillon in an 18th century building on the Place de la Concorde in 1909, the Hotel Bristol on the Rue du Faubourg Saint Honoré in 1925, and the Hotel George V in 1928. In addition to hotels, in 2017 Greater Paris had 84,000 homes registered with Airbnb, which received 2.3 million visitors. Under French law, renters of these units must pay the Paris tourism tax. The company paid the city government 7.3 million euros in 2016. Topic: Culture. Topic: Painting and sculpture. For centuries, Paris has attracted artists from around the world, who arrive in the city to educate themselves and to seek inspiration from its vast pool of artistic resources and galleries. As a result, Paris has acquired a reputation as the city of art. Italian artists were a profound influence on the development of art in Paris in the 16th and 17th centuries, particularly in sculpture and reliefs. Painting and sculpture became the pride of the French monarchy and the French royal family commissioned many Parisian artists to adorn their palaces during the French Baroque and Classicism era. Sculptors such as Girardin, Coysevox and Cousteau acquired reputations as the finest artists in the royal court in 17th century France. Pierre Mignard became the first painter to King Louis XIV during this period. In 1648, the Académie royale de peinture et de sculpture, Royal Academy of Painting and Sculpture, was established to accommodate for the dramatic interest in art in the capital. This served as France's top art school until 1793. Paris was in its artistic prime in the 19th century and early 20th century, when it had a colony of artists established in the city and in art schools associated with some of the finest painters of the times, Édouard Manet, Claude Monet, Bert Morisot, Paul Gauguin, Pierre-Auguste Renoir and others. The French Revolution and political and social change in France had a profound influence on art in the capital. Paris was central to the development of Romanticism in art, with painters such as Jericho. Impressionism, Art Nouveau, Symbolism, Fauvism, Cubism and Art Deco movements all evolved in Paris. In the late 19th century, many artists in the French provinces and worldwide flocked to Paris to exhibit their works in the numerous salons and expositions and make a name for themselves. Artists such as Pablo Picasso, Henri Matisse, Vincent van Gogh, Paul Cézanne, Jean Metzinger, Albert Gleizes, Henri Rousseau, Marc Chagall, Amadeo Modigliani and many others became associated with Paris. Picasso, living in Le bateau lavoir in Montmartre, painted his famous La Famille de Saltimbanques and Les Demoiselles d'Avignon between 1905 and 1907. Montmartre and Montparnasse became centers for artistic production. The most prestigious names of French and foreign sculptors, who made their reputation in Paris in the modern era, are Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi, Statue of Liberty, Liberty Enlightening the World, Auguste Rodin, Camille Claudel, Antoine Bordel, Paul Landowski, Statue of Christ the Redeemer in Rio de Janeiro, and Aristide Maillol. The golden age of the School of Paris ended between the two world wars. Topic. Photography The inventor Nicephore Niepce produced the first permanent photograph on a polished pewter plate in Paris in 1825. In 1839, after the death of Niepce, Louis Daguerre patented the daguerreotype, which became the most common form of photography until the 1860s. The work of Étienne Jules Mary in the 1880s contributed considerably to the development of modern photography. Photography came to occupy a central role in Parisian surrealist activity, in the works of Man Ray and Maurice Tabard. 
Numerous photographers achieved renown for their photography of Paris, including Eugene Atget, noted for his depictions of street scenes, Robert Doineau, noted for his playful pictures of people and market scenes among which Le Baiser de l'Hôtel de Ville has become iconic of the romantic vision of Paris, Marcel Bovis, noted for his night scenes, and others such as Jacques-Henri Lartigue and Cartier Bresson. Poster art also became an important art form in Paris in the late 19th century, through the work of Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec, Jules Chouret, Eugène Grasset, Adolphe Ouellet, Pierre Bonnard, Georges Defour, Henri Gabriel Ibels, Gavarni, and Alphonse Mucha. Museums The Louvre was the most visited art museum in the world in 2017, with 8.1 million visitors. Its treasures include the Mona Lisa La Joconde, the Venus de Milo statue, Liberty Leading the People, and many other notable works. The second most visited museum in the city, with 3.3 million visitors, was the Centre Georges Pompidou, also known as Beauberg, which houses the Musée National d'Art Moderne. The third most visited Paris museum, in a building constructed for the Universal Exhibition of 1900 as the Orsay Railway Station, was the Musée d'Orsay, which had 3.2 million visitors in 2017. The Orsay displays French art of the 19th century, including major collections of the Impressionists and Post-Impressionists. The Musée de l'Orangerie, near both the Louvre and the Orsay, also exhibits Impressionists and Post-Impressionists, including most of Claude Monet's large water lilies murals. The Musée National du Moyen Age, or Cluny Museum, presents medieval art, including the famous tapestry cycle of the Lady and the Unicorn. The Guimet Museum, or Musée National des Arts Asiatiques, has one of the largest collections of Asian art in Europe. There are also notable museums devoted to individual artists, including the Picasso Museum the Rodin Museum, and the Musée National Eugène Delacroix. Paris hosts one of the largest science museums in Europe, the Cité des Sciences et de l'Industrie at La Villette. It attracted 2.4 million visitors in 2017. The National Museum of Natural History, on the left bank, attracted 1.76 million visitors in 2016. It is famous for its dinosaur artifacts, mineral collections, and its gallery of evolution. The military history of France, from the Middle Ages to World War II, is vividly presented by displays at the Musée de l'Armée at Les Invalides, near the tomb of Napoleon. In addition to the national museums, run by the French Ministry of Culture, the city of Paris operates 14 museums, including the Carnavalet Museum on the History of Paris, Musée d'Art Moderne de la Ville de Paris, Palais de Tokyo, the House of Victor Hugo and House of Balzac, and the Catacombs of Paris. There are also notable private museums, the Contemporary Art Museum of the Louis Vuitton Foundation, designed by architect Frank Gehry, opened in October 2014 in the Bois de Boulogne. It received 1.4 million visitors in 2017. Theatre The largest opera houses of Paris are the 19th century Opéra Garnier, historical Paris opera, and modern Opéra Bastille. The former tends toward the more classic ballets and operas, and the latter provides a mixed repertoire of classic and modern. In middle of the 19th century, there were three other active and competing opera houses: the Opéra Comique, which still exists, Théâtre Italien, and Théâtre Lyrique, which in modern times changed its profile and name to Théâtre de la Ville. Philharmonie de Paris, the modern symphonic concert hall of Paris, opened in January 2015. Another musical landmark is the Théâtre des Champs-Élysées, where the first performances of Diaghilev's Ballets Russes took place in 1913. Theatre traditionally has occupied a large place in Parisian culture, and many of its most popular actors today are also stars of French television. The oldest and most famous Paris theatre is the Comédie Française, founded in 1680. Run by the French government, it performs mostly French classics at the Salle Richelieu in the Palais Royal at 2 Rue de Richelieu, next to the Louvre. Of other famous theatres include the Odéon Théâtre de l'Europe, next to the Luxembourg Gardens, also a state institution and theatrical landmark, the Théâtre Mogador, and the Théâtre de la Gaîté Montparnasse. The Music Hall and Cabaret are famous Paris institutions. The Moulin Rouge was opened in 1889. It was highly visible because of its large red imitation windmill on its roof, and became the birthplace of the dance known as the French Cancan. -can. 
It helped make famous the singers Mistinguit and Edith Piaf and the painter Toulouse Lautrec, who made posters for the venue. In 1911, the dance hall Olympia Paris invented the Grand Staircase as a settling for its shows, competing with its great rival, the Folies Bergère. Its stars in the 1920s included the American singer and dancer Josephine Baker. Later, Olympia Paris presented Delita, Edith Piaf, Marlene Dietrich, Miles Davis, Judy Garland, and The Grateful Dead. The Casino de Paris presented many famous French singers, including Mistinguit, Maurice Chevalier, and Tino Rossi. Other famous Paris music halls include Le Lido, on the Champs-Élysées, opened in 1946, and the Crazy Horse Saloon, featuring strip tees, dance and magic, opened in 1951. A half dozen music halls exist today in Paris, attended mostly by visitors to the city. Topic: <inaudible> Literature. The first book printed in France, Epistolae, Letters, by Gasparinus de Bergamo, Gasparino da Barzizza, was published in Paris in 1470 by the press established by Johann Heinlein. Since then, Paris has been the center of the French publishing industry, the home of some of the world's best-known writers and poets, and the setting for many classic works of French literature. Almost all the books published in Paris in the Middle Ages were in Latin, rather than French. Paris did not become the acknowledged capital of French literature until the 17th century, with authors such as Boileau, Corneille, La Fontaine, Molière, Racine, several coming from the provinces, and the foundation of the Académie Française. In the 18th century, the literary life of Paris revolved around the cafés and salons, and was dominated by Voltaire, Jean-Jacques Rousseau, Pierre de Marivaux, and Beaumarchais. During the 19th century, Paris was the home and subject for some of France's greatest writers, including Charles Baudelaire, Stéphane Mallarmé, Marimé, Alfred de Musset, Marcel Proust, Émile Zola, Alexandre Dumas, Gustave Flaubert, Guy de Maupassant and Honoré de Balzac. Victor Hugo's The Hunchback of Notre Dame inspired the renovation of its setting, the Notre Dame de Paris. Another of Victor Hugo's works, Les Miserables, written while he was in exile outside France during the Second Empire, described the social change and political turmoil in Paris in the early 1830s. One of the most popular of all French writers, Jules Verne, worked at the Théâtre Lyrique and the Paris Stock Exchange, while he did research for his stories at the National Library. In the 20th century, the Paris literary community was dominated by figures such as Colette, André Guide, François Mauriac, André Malraux, Albert Camus, and, after World War II, by Simone de Beauvoir and Jean-Paul Sartre. Between the wars it was the home of many important expatriate writers, including Ernest Hemingway, Samuel Beckett, and, in the 1970s, Milan Kundera. The winner of the 2014 Nobel Prize in Literature, Patrick Modiano, who lives in Paris, based most of his literary work on the depiction of the city during World War II and the 1960s to 1970s. Paris is a city of books and bookstores. In the 1970s, 80% of French language publishing houses were found in Paris, almost all on the left bank in the 5th, 6th, and 7th arrondissements. Since that time, because of high prices, some publishers have moved out to the less expensive areas. It is also a city of small bookstores. There are about 150 bookstores in the 5th arrondissement alone, plus another 250 book stalls along the Seine. Small Paris bookstores are protected against competition from discount booksellers by French law. Books, even e-books, cannot be discounted more than 5% below their publisher's cover price. Topic. Music In the late 12th century, a school of polyphony was established at Notre Dame. Among the trouvères of northern France, a group of Parisian aristocrats became known for their poetry and songs. Troubadours, from the south of France, were also popular. During the reign of François I, in the Renaissance era, the lute became popular in the French court. The French royal family and courtiers disported themselves in masks, ballets, allegorical dances, recitals, and opera and comedy." And a national musical printing house was established. In the Baroque era, noted composers included Jean-Baptiste Lully, Jean-Philippe Rameau, and François Couperin. The Conservatoire de Musique de Paris was founded in 1795. By 1870, Paris had become an important centre for symphony, ballet and operatic music. 
Romantic era composers in Paris include Hector Berlioz, La Symphonie Fantastique, Charles Gounod, Faust, Camille saint saens Samson et Delilah, Leo de Libes, Lacme, and Jules Massenet, Thais, among others. Georges Bizet's Carmen premiered the 3rd of March 1875. Carmen has since become one of the most popular and frequently performed operas in the classical canon. Among the Impressionist composers who created new works for piano, orchestra, opera, chamber music and other musical forms, stand in particular, Claude Debussy Sweet Bergamasque, and its well-known third movement, Claire de Lune, La Mer, Peleas et Melissade, Eric Satie Gymnopedes, Nociens, Parade and Maurice Ravel Miroise, Bolero, La Valse, L'Eur Espagnol. Several foreign-born composers, such as Frédéric Chopin Poland, Franz Liszt Hungary, Jacques Offenbach Germany, Niccolò Paganini Italy, and Igor Stravinsky Russia, established themselves or made significant contributions both with their works and their influence in Paris. Bal Musette is a style of French music and dance that first became popular in Paris in the 1870s and 1880s. By 1880, Paris had some 150 dance halls in the working class neighborhoods of the city. Patrons danced the Boré to the accompaniment of the Cabret, a bellows blown bagpipe locally called a Musette, and often the Vieille Rue hurdy -gurdy, in the cafes and bars of the city. Parisian and Italian musicians who played the accordion adopted the style and established themselves in overnat bars especially in the 19th arrondissement, and the romantic sounds of the accordion has since become one of the musical icons of the city. Paris became a major centre for jazz and still attracts jazz musicians from all around the world to its clubs and cafes. Paris is the spiritual home of gypsy jazz in particular, and many of the Parisian jazzmen who developed in the first half of the 20th century began by playing bal musette in the city. Django Reinhardt rose to fame in Paris, having moved to the 18th arrondissement in a caravan as a young boy, and performed with violinist Stéphane Grappelli and their Quintet du Hot Club de France in the 1930s and 1940s. Immediately after the war, the Saint Germain des Prés quarter and the nearby Saint Michel quarter became home to many small jazz clubs, mostly found in cellars because of a lack of space. These included the Caveau de l'Orienté, the Club Saint Germain, the Rose Rouge, the Vieux Colombier, and the most famous, Le Taboo. They introduced Parisians to the music of Claude Luter, Boris Vian, Sidney Bechet, Mez Mesro, and Henri Salvador. Most of the clubs closed by the early 1960s, as musical tastes shifted toward rock and roll. Some of the finest Manouche musicians in the world are found here playing the cafes of the city at night. Some of the more notable jazz venues include the New Morning, La Sunset, La Chope des Puces, and Bouquet du Nord. Several yearly festivals take place in Paris, including the Paris Jazz Festival FR and the rock festival Rock and Seine. The Orchestre de Paris was established in 1967. On the 19th of December 2015, Paris and other worldwide fans commemorated the 100th anniversary of the birth of Edith Piaf, a French cabaret singer, songwriter and actress who became widely regarded as France's national chanteuse as well as being one of France's greatest international stars. Other singers—of similar style—include Maurice Chevalier, Charles Aznavour, Yves Montand, and Charles Trenet. Paris has a big hip-hop scene. This music became popular during the 1980s. The presence of a large African and Caribbean community helped to its development, it gave a voice, a political and social status for many minorities. Cinema. The movie industry was born in Paris when Auguste and Louis Lumière projected the first motion picture for a paying audience at the Grand Café on 28 December 1895. Many of Paris's concert, dance halls were transformed into cinemas when the media became popular beginning in the 1930s. Later, most of the largest cinemas were divided into multiple, smaller rooms. Paris's largest cinema room today is in the Grand Rex Theater with 2,700 seats. Big multiplex cinemas have been built since the 1990s. UGC Ciné Cité Les Halles with 27 screens, MK2 Bibliothèque with 20 screens, and UGC Ciné Cité Bercy with 18 screens are among the largest. Parisians tend to share the same movie going trends as many of the world's global cities, with cinemas primarily dominated by Hollywood generated film entertainment. 
French cinema comes a close second, with major directors realisateurs such as Claude Lelouch, Jean-Luc Godard, and Luc Besson, and the more slapstick, popular genre with director Claude Zidi as an example. European and Asian films are also widely shown and appreciated. On 2 February 2000, Philippe Bynant realized the first digital cinema projection in Europe, with the DLP cinema technology developed by Texas Instruments, in Paris. Restaurants and cuisine Since the late 18th century, Paris has been famous for its restaurants and haute cuisine, food meticulously prepared and artfully presented. A luxury restaurant, La Taverne Anglaise, opened in 1786 in the arcades of the Palais Royal by Antoine Beauvilliers. It featured an elegant dining room, an extensive menu, linen tablecloths, a large wine list, and well trained waiters. It became a model for future Paris restaurants. The restaurant Le Grand Vefort in the Palais Royal dates from the same period. The famous Paris restaurants of the 19th century, including the Café de Paris, the Rocher de Cancale, the Café Anglais, Maison Dorée and the Café Riche, were mostly located near the theatres on the Boulevard des Italiens, they were immortalized in the novels of Balzac and Émile Zola. Several of the best-known restaurants in Paris today appeared during the Belle Époque, including Maxims on Rue Royale, Le Doyen in the Gardens of the Champs-Élysées, and the Tour d'Argent on the Quai de la Tournelle. Today, due to Paris's cosmopolitan population, every French regional cuisine and almost every national cuisine in the world can be found there. The city has more than 9,000 restaurants. The Michelin Guide has been a standard guide to French restaurants since 1900, awarding its highest award, three stars, to the best restaurants in France. In 2018, of the 27 Michelin three-star restaurants in France, 10 are located in Paris. These include both restaurants which serve classical French cuisine, such as Lamboisie in the Place des Vosges, and those which serve non-traditional menus, such as Lostrance, which combines French and Asian cuisines. Several of France's most famous chefs, including Pierre Gagnier, Alain Ducasse, Yannick Aleno and Alain Passard, have three-star restaurants in Paris. In addition to the classical restaurants, Paris has several other kinds of traditional eating places. The café arrived in Paris in the 17th century, when the beverage was first brought from Turkey, and by the 18th century Parisian cafés were centers of the city's political and cultural life. The Café Procope on the left bank dates from this period. In the 20th century, the cafés of the left bank, especially Café de la Rotonde and Le Dôme Café in Montparnasse and Café de Flore and Les Der Maggots on Boulevard Saint-Germain, all still in business, were important meeting places for painters, writers and philosophers. A bistro is a type of eating place loosely defined as a neighborhood restaurant with a modest décor and prices and a regular clientele and a congenial atmosphere. Its name is said to have come in 1814 from the Russian soldiers who occupied the city. Bistro means quickly in Russian, and they wanted their meals served rapidly so they could get back their encampment. Real bistros are increasingly rare in Paris, due to rising costs, competition from cheaper ethnic restaurants, and different eating habits of Parisian diners. A brasserie originally was a tavern located next to a brewery, which served beer and food at any hour. Beginning with the Paris Exposition of 1867, it became a popular kind of restaurant which featured beer and other beverages served by young women in the national costume associated with the beverage, particular German costumes for beer. Now brasseries, like cafés, serve food and drinks throughout the day. Fashion Paris has been an international capital of high fashion since the 19th century, particularly in the domain of haute couture, clothing handmade to order for private clients. It is home of some of the largest fashion houses in the world, including Dior and Chanel, and of many well-known fashion designers, including Karl Lagerfeld, Jean-Paul Gaultier, Christophe Joss, and Christian Lacroix. Paris Fashion Week, held in January and July in the Carousel du Louvre and other city locations, is among the top four events of the international fashion calendar, along with the Fashion Weeks in Milan, London and New York. Paris is also the home of the world's largest cosmetics company, L'Oréal, and three of the five top global makers of luxury fashion accessories, Louis Vuitton, Hermès, and Cartier. Most of the major fashion designers have their showrooms along the Avenue Montaigne, between the Champs-Élysées and the Seine. <laughs> 
Topic: <laughs> Holidays and festivals. Bastille Day, a celebration of the storming of the Bastille in 1789, the biggest festival in the city, is a military parade taking place every year on 14 July on the Champs-Élysées, from the Arc de Triomphe to Place de la Concorde. It includes a flypast over the Champs-Élysées by the Patrouille de France, a parade of military units and equipment, and a display of fireworks in the evening, the most spectacular being the one at the Eiffel Tower. Some other yearly festivals are Paris Plages, a festive event that lasts from mid-July to mid-August when the right bank of the Seine is converted into a temporary beach with sand, deck chairs and palm trees, Journeys du Patrimoine, Fête de la Musique, Techno Parade, Nuit Blanche, Cinéma au Claire de Lune, Printemps des Rues, Festival d'Automne, and Fête des Jardins. The Carnival de Paris, one of the oldest festivals in Paris, dates back to the Middle Ages. Education Paris is the département with the highest proportion of highly educated people. In 2009, around 40% of Parisians held a license level diploma or higher, the highest proportion in France, while 13% have no diploma, the third lowest percentage in France. Education in Paris and the Ile de France region employs approximately 330,000 people, 170,000 of whom are teachers and professors teaching approximately 2.9 million children and students in around 9,000 primary, secondary, and higher education schools and institutions. The University of Paris, founded in the 12th century, is often called the Sorbonne after one of its original medieval colleges. It was broken up into 13 autonomous universities in 1970, following the student demonstrations in 1968. Most of the campuses today are in the Latin Quarter where the old university was located, while others are scattered around the city and the suburbs. The Paris region hosts France's highest concentration of the Grandes Écoles 55 specialized centers of higher education outside the public university structure. The prestigious public universities are usually considered grand établissement. Most of the Grandes Écoles were relocated to the suburbs of Paris in the 1960s and 1970s, in new campuses much larger than the old campuses within the crowded city of Paris, though the École Normale Supérieure has remained on Rue d'Ilme in the 5th arrondissement. There are a high number of engineering schools, led by the Paris Institute of Technology which comprises several colleges such as École Polytechnique, École des Mines, Agroparistech, Télécom Paris, Arts et Métiers, and École des Ponts et Chaussées. There are also many business schools, including HEC, INSEAD, ESSEC, and ESCP Europe. The administrative school such as ENA has been relocated to Strasbourg. The political science school Sciences Po is still located in Paris's 7th arrondissement and the most prestigious university of economics and finance, Paris Dauphine, is located in Paris's 16th. The Parisian School of Journalism CELSA department of the Paris Sorbonne University is located in Neuilly sur Seine. Paris is also home to several of France's most famous high schools, such as Lycée Louis Le Grand, Lycée Henri IV, Lycée Janssen de Sailly, and Lycée Condorcet. The National Institute of Sport and Physical Education, located in the 12th arrondissement, is both a physical education institute and high level training centre for elite athletes. Topic. Libraries The Bibliothèque Nationale de France BNF operates public libraries in Paris, among them the François Mitterrand Library, Richelieu Library, Louvois, Opera Library, and Arsenal Library. There are three public libraries in the 4th arrondissement. The Forney Library, in the Marais district, is dedicated to the decorative arts. The Arsenal Library occupies a former military building, and has a large collection on French literature, and the Bibliothèque Historique de la Ville de Paris, also in Le Marais, contains the Paris Historical Research Service. The Saint Genevieve Library is in 5th arrondissement, designed by Henri Le Brust and built in the mid 1800s, it contains a rare book and manuscript division. Bibliothèque Mazarin, in the 6th arrondissement, is the oldest public library in France. The Médiathèque Musicale Mahler in the 8th arrondissement opened in 1986 and contains collections related to music. 
the François Mitterrand Library nicknamed Trace Grande Bibliothèque in the 13th arrondissement was completed in 1994 to a design of Dominique Perrault and contains four glass towers. There are several academic libraries and archives in Paris. The Sorbonne Library in the 5th arrondissement is the largest university library in Paris. In addition to the Sorbonne location, there are branches in Malesherbes, Clignancourt Championnet, Michelet Institut d'Art et d'Archéologie, Serpent Maison de la Recherche, and Institut des Etudes Ibériques. Other academic libraries include Interuniversity Pharmaceutical Library, Leonardo da Vinci University Library, Paris School of Mines Library, and the René Descartes University Library. Sports Paris's most popular sport clubs are the Association Football Club Paris Saint-Germain FC and the rugby union clubs Stade Francais and Racing 92, the last of which is based just outside the city proper. The 80,000-seat Stade de France, built for the 1998 FIFA World Cup, is located just north of Paris in the commune of Saint-Denis. It is used for football, rugby union and track and field athletics. It hosts the French national football team for friendlies and major tournaments qualifiers, annually hosts the French national rugby team's home matches of the Six Nations Championship, and hosts several important matches of the Stade Francais rugby team. In addition to Paris Saint-Germain FC, the city has a number of other professional and amateur football clubs, Paris FC, Red Star, RCF Paris and Stade Francais Paris. Paris hosted the 1900 and 1924 Summer Olympics and will host the 2024 Summer Olympics and Paralympic Games. The city also hosted the finals of the 1938 FIFA World Cup at the State Olympique de Colombes, as well as the 1998 FIFA World Cup and the 2007 Rugby World Cup final both at the Stade de France. Two UEFA Champions League finals in the current century have also been played in the Stade de France, the 2000 and 2006 editions. Paris has most recently been the host for UEFA Euro 2016, both at the Parc des Princes in the city proper and also at Stade de France, with the latter hosting the opening match and final. The final stage of the most famous bicycle racing in the world, Tour de France, always finishes in Paris. Since 1975, the race has finished on the Champs Elysees. Tennis is another popular sport in Paris and throughout France. The French Open, held every year on the red clay of the Roland Garros National Tennis Centre, is one of the four Grand Slam events of the World Professional Tennis Tour. The 17,000 seat Bercy Arena, officially named a Corps Hotels Arena and formerly known as the Palais Omnisports de Paris Bercy, is the venue for the annual Paris Masters ATP Tour tennis tournament and has been a frequent site of national and international tournaments in basketball, boxing, cycling, handball, ice hockey, show jumping, and other sports. The Bercy Arena also hosted the 2017 IIHF World Ice Hockey Championship, together with Cologne, Germany. The final stages of the FIBA Eurobasket 1999 were also played at the Palais Omnisports de Paris Bercy. The basketball team Lavalois Metropolitans plays some of its games at the 4000 capacity Stade Pierre de Coubertin. Another top level professional team, Nanterre 92, plays in Nanterre. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Infrastructure. Transport Paris is a major rail, highway, and air transport hub. The Ile de France Mobilités, formerly Syndicat des Transports d'Ile de France STIF, and before that the Syndicat des Transports Parisiens STP, oversees the transit network in the region. The syndicate coordinates public transport and contracts it out to the RATP, operating 347 bus lines, the Metro, eight tramway lines, and sections of the RER, the SNCF, operating suburban rails, one tramway line and the other sections of the RER, and the Optal Consortium of Private Operators managing 1,176 bus lines. Topic: <laughs> Railways. <laughs> 
A central hub of the national rail network, Paris's six major railway stations Gare du Nord, Gare de Lay, Gare de Lyon, Gare d'Austerlitz, Gare Montparnasse, Gare Saint Lazare, and a minor one Gare de Bercy are connected to three networks, the TGV serving four high speed rail lines, the normal speed Corail trains, and the suburban rails. Transilien. Metro, RER and tramway Since the inauguration of its first line in 1900, Paris's Metro subway network has grown to become the city's most widely used local transport system. Today it carries about 5.23 million passengers daily through 16 lines, 303 stations, 385 stops and 220 kilometers, 136.7 miles of rails. Superimposed on this is a regional express network, the RER, whose five lines A, B, C, D, and E, 257 stops and 587 kilometers (365 miles) of rails connect Paris to more distant parts of the urban area. Over 26.5 billion euros will be invested over the next 15 years to extend the metro network into the suburbs, with notably the Grand Paris Express project. In addition, the Paris region is served by a light rail network of nine lines. The tramway, Line T1 runs from Asnières Genevilliers to noisy le sec Line T2 runs from Pont de Bézins to Port de Versailles. Line T3A runs from Pont du Garigliano to Port de Vincennes. Line T3B runs from Port de Vincennes to Port de la Chapelle. Line T5 runs from Saint-Denis to Garges Sarcelles. Line T6 runs from Châtelon to Viroflay. Line T7 runs from Villejuif to Athos Mons. Line T8 runs from Saint Denis to Epinay sur Seine and Villatanus, all of which are operated by the RATP Group, and Line T4 runs from Bondi RER to Alnay sous Bois, which is operated by the state rail carrier SNCF. Five new light rail lines are currently in various stages of development. Air Paris is a major international air transport hub with the fifth busiest airport system in the world. The city is served by three commercial international airports, Paris Charles de Gaulle, Paris Orly and beauvais tillet Together these three airports recorded traffic of 96.5 million passengers in 2014. There is also one general aviation airport, Paris La Bourguette, historically the oldest Parisian airport and closest to the city centre, which is now used only for private business flights and air shows. Orly Airport, located in the southern suburbs of Paris, replaced La Bourguette as the principal airport of Paris from the 1950s to the 1980s. Charles de Gaulle Airport, located on the edge of the northern suburbs of Paris, opened to commercial traffic in 1974 and became the busiest Parisian airport in 1993. For the year 2017 it was the fifth busiest airport in the world by international traffic and it is the hub for the nation's flag carrier Air France. beauvais tillet Airport, located 69 kilometers 43 miles north of Paris's city centre, is used by charter airlines and low-cost carriers such as Ryanair. Domestically, air travel between Paris and some of France's largest cities such as Lyon, Marseille, or Strasbourg has been in a large measure replaced by high-speed rail due to the opening of several high-speed TGV rail lines from the 1980s. For example, after the LGV Méditerranée opened in 2001, air traffic between Paris and Marseille declined from 2,976,793 passengers in 2000 to 1,502,196 passengers in 2014. After the LGV Est opened in 2007, air traffic between Paris and Strasbourg declined from 1,006,327 passengers in 2006 to 157,207 passengers in 2014. Internationally, air traffic has increased markedly in recent years between Paris and the Gulf airports, the emerging nations of Africa, Russia, Turkey, Portugal, Italy, and mainland China, whereas noticeable decline has been recorded between Paris and the British. British Isles, Egypt, Tunisia, and Japan. Motorways 
The city is also the most important hub of France's motorway network, and is surrounded by three orbital freeways, the Périphérique, which follows the approximate path of 19th-century fortifications around Paris, the A86 motorway in the inner suburbs, and finally the Francilian motorway in the outer suburbs. Paris has an extensive road network with over 2,000 kilometres of highways and motorways. Topic: Waterways. The Paris region is the most active water transport area in France, with most of the cargo handled by ports of Paris in facilities located around Paris. The rivers Loire, Rhine, Rhone, Meuse, and Scheldt can be reached by canals connecting with the Seine, which include the Canal Saint Martin, Canal Saint Denis, and the Canal de l'Orque. Topic. Cycling There are 440 kilometers 270 miles of cycle paths and routes in Paris These include piste cyclable bike lanes separated from other traffic by physical barriers such as a curb and bande cyclable a bicycle lane denoted by a painted path on the road Some 29 kilometers 18 miles of specially marked bus lanes are free to be used by cyclists with a protective barrier protecting against encroachments from vehicles Cyclists have also been given the right to ride in both directions on certain one-way streets. Paris offers a bike-sharing system called Vélib, with more than 20,000 public bicycles distributed at 1,800 parking stations, which can be rented for short and medium distances including one-way trips. Electricity <inaudible> 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 Electricity is provided to Paris through a peripheral grid fed by multiple sources. As of 2012, around 50% of electricity generated in the Ile de France comes from cogeneration energy plants located near the outer limits of the region. Other energy sources include the Nogent nuclear power plant 35%, trash incineration 9% with cogeneration plants. These provide the city in heat as well. Methane gas 5%, hydraulics 1%, solar power 0.1% and a negligible amount of wind power 0.034 gigawatt hours. A quarter of Paris's district heating is to come from a plant in Saint-Ouen, burning a 50-50 mix of coal and 140,000 tons of wood pellets from USA per year. <laughs> Water and sanitation Paris in its early history had only the rivers Seine and Bee for water. From 1809, the Canal de l'Orque provided Paris with water from less polluted rivers to the northeast of the capital. From 1857, the civil engineer Eugène Belgrand, under Napoleon III, oversaw the construction of a series of new aqueducts that brought water from locations all around the city to several reservoirs built atop the capital's highest points of elevation. From then on, the new reservoir system became Paris's principal source of drinking water, and the remains of the old system, pumped into lower levels of the same reservoirs, were from then on used for the cleaning of Paris's streets. This system is still a major part of Paris's modern water supply network. Today Paris has more than 2,400 kilometers 1,491 miles of underground passageways dedicated to the evacuation of Paris's liquid wastes. In 1982, Mayor Chirac introduced the motorcycle-mounted motorcrot to remove dog feces from Paris streets. The project was abandoned in 2002 for a new and better enforced local law, under the terms of which dog owners can be fined up to €500 Euros for not removing their dog feces. The air pollution in Paris, from the point of view of particulate matter PM10, is the highest in France with 38 micrograms per cubic meter. Parks and gardens Paris today has more than 421 municipal parks and gardens, covering more than 3,000 hectares and containing more than 250,000 trees. Two of Paris's oldest and most famous gardens are the Tuileries Garden, created in 1564 for the Tuileries Palace, and redone by André Le Notre between 1664 and 1672, and the Luxembourg Garden, for the Luxembourg Palace, built for Marie de' Medici in 1612, which today houses the French Senate. 
The Jardin des Plantes was the first botanical garden in Paris, created in 1626 by Louis XIII's a Dr. Guy de la Brosse for the cultivation of medicinal plants. Between 1853 and 1870, the Emperor Napoleon III and the city's first director of parks and gardens, Jean Charles Alphand, created the Bois de Boulogne, the Bois de Vincennes, Parc Montsoris, and the Parc des Buttes Chaumont, located at the four points of the compass around the city, as well as many smaller parks, squares, and gardens in the the Paris's quarters. Since 1977, the city has created 166 new parks, most notably the Parc de la Villette 1987, Parc André Citron 1992, and Parc de Bercy 1997. One of the newest parks, the Promenade des Burges de la Seine 2013, built on a former highway on the left bank of the Seine between the Pont de l'Alma and the Musée d'Orsay, has floating gardens and gives a view of the city's landmarks. Topic: Cemeteries. In Paris's Roman era, its main cemetery was located to the outskirts of the left bank settlement, but this changed with the rise of Catholicism, where most every inner city church had adjoining burial grounds for use by their parishes. With Paris's growth, many of these, particularly the city's largest cemetery, Les Innocents, were filled to overflowing, creating quite unsanitary conditions for the capital. When inner city burials were condemned from 1786, the contents of all Paris's parish cemeteries were transferred to a renovated section of Paris's stone mines outside the Port d'Enfer city gate, today place Denfert Rochereau in the 14th arrondissement. The process of moving bones from Cimetière des Innocents to the catacombs took place between 1786 and 1814. Part of the network of tunnels and remains can be visited today on the official tour of the catacombs. After a tentative creation of several smaller suburban cemeteries, the prefect Nicolas Frochet under Napoleon Bonaparte provided a more definitive solution in the creation of three massive Parisian cemeteries outside the city limits. Open from 1804, these were the cemeteries of Per Lachaise, Montmartre, Montparnasse, and later Passy. These cemeteries became inner city once again when Paris annexed all neighboring communes to the inside of its much larger ring of suburban fortifications in 1860. New suburban cemeteries were created in the early 20th century, the largest of these are the Cimetière Parisien de Saint-Ouen, the Cimetière Parisien de Pantin also known as Cimetière Parisien de pantin Babigny, the Cimetière Parisien de Vry, and the Cimetière Parisien de Bagneux. Some of the most famous people in the world are buried in Parisian cemeteries. <laughs> <laughs> Healthcare. Health care and emergency medical service in the city of Paris and its suburbs are provided by the Assistance Publique, Hôpitaux de Paris a public hospital system that employs more than 90,000 people including practitioners, support personnel, and administrators in 44 hospitals. It is the largest hospital system in Europe. It provides health care, teaching, research, prevention, education and emergency medical service in 52 branches of medicine. The hospitals receive more than 5.8 million annual patient visits. One of the most notable hospitals is the Hotel Dieu, founded in 651, the oldest hospital in the city. Other hospitals include Pitier Salpetriere Hospital, one of the largest in Europe, Hôpital Cochin, Hôpital Bichat, Hôpital Europon Georges Pompidou, Bicetra Hospital, Beaujon Hospital, the Curie Institute, Laraboisière Hospital, Necker Enfants Malades Hospital, Hôpital Saint Louis, Hôpital de la Charité, and the American Hospital of Paris. Topic media Paris and its close suburbs is home to numerous newspapers, magazines and publications including Le Monde, Le Figaro, Liberation, Le Nouvel Observateur, Le Canard en Chaine, Le Croix, Periscope, Le Parisien in Saint-Ouen, Les Echos, Paris Match, Newly sur Seine, Ratio and Telecoms, Reuters France, and L'Officiel des Spectacles. France's two most prestigious newspapers, Le Monde and Le Figaro, are the centerpieces of the Parisian publishing industry. Agence France Press is France's oldest, and one of the world's oldest, continually operating news agencies. AFP, as it is colloquially abbreviated, maintains its headquarters in Paris, as it has since 1835. France 24 is a television news channel owned and operated by the French government, and is based in Paris. 
Another news agency is France Diplomatie, owned and operated by the Ministry of Foreign and European Affairs, and pertains solely to diplomatic news and occurrences. The most viewed network in France, TF1, is in nearby Boulogne Billancourt. France 2, France 3, Canal Plus, France 5, M6, Newly Sur Seine, Arte, D8, W9, NT1, NRJ12, La Chaine Parlementaire, France 4, BFM TV, and Gouli are other stations located in and around the capital. Radio France, France's public radio broadcaster, and its various channels, is headquartered in Paris's 16th arrondissement. Radio France Internationale, another public broadcaster, is also based in the city. Paris also holds the headquarters of the La Poste, France's national postal carrier. International relations Twin towns and partner cities Since 9 April 1956, Paris is exclusively and reciprocally twinned only with Rome, Italy, 1956 Soule Paris est digne de Rome, Soule Rome est digne de Paris, in French Solo Parigi e degna di Roma, Solo Roma e degna di Parigi, in Italian Only Paris is worthy of Rome, only Rome is worthy of Paris. Other relationships Paris has agreements of friendship and cooperation with See also C40 Cities Climate Leadership Group International Exposition of Modern Industrial and Decorative Arts held in Paris in 1925 Megacity Outline of France Paris Syndrome